<laughs> Hi, it's Courtney. Welcome back to my channel. And today I wanted to give you a few tips that I think that could help grow your channel. And I'm going to get right into it. And the first one is the hook. So when you're first starting a video, if you, for instance, ask a question to the viewer before you start the video, that could hook them in. So whatever it is that grabs the attention to keep the viewer staying in tune within the first probably five seconds, 10 seconds, that's a good thing. The second tip actually has to do with your end of the video. I think that sometimes people will give too many instructions to the viewer and so when you're giving your call to actions, meaning you are asking the viewer to do something like leave a comment or watch another video, I think that you should keep those to a minimum because if you give too many, the viewer gets confused. And so think about your call to action and use maybe just one is enough. The third tip has to do with how frequently you are posting and I know this is difficult and I actually have a hard time because life gets in the way but it is something to think about because the more you're posting and the more frequent you post the more you're likely going to be suggested by YouTube because if the viewer has you in their search history and then you upload more and then you upload more again, you're most likely to be suggested and that helps you grow your channel. And so obviously you have to do it to suit what you can do and your life, but it's definitely something to think about. The next thing I would think about is how you're presenting yourself. And so yes, there's channel art, but there's so much more than that. There's channel art and there's your backdrop and there's your thumbnail and your logos and so you know are those consistent and do people know who you are from those and that's something to take a look at to see how you're presenting yourself in total and to work on that to work on say for instance if you have a thumbnail you might want to have consistent colors every time you upload so the person that's looking at that thumbnail knows oh that's a video by so and so and so that's another thing to take into consideration Another thing actually that I would take a look at, I don't know if you guys know, but there is a YouTube Academy in YouTube and it's free classes and free information and you can search questions and it's a really good way to learn more about YouTube. So I would take a look at that. The last thing I want to talk about has to do with uploading and what we just talked about, how frequently you're uploading. One thing that you can consider doing is something called batch recording, where instead of just taking one day and recording one video, you can take a day and record three videos. You just need to prepare for it. You need to, you know, have your, your outfits ready, you know, you need to, whatever it is that you need to do, your makeup, your hair, you know, you need to prepare those videos in that one day. So your scripts and what you're going to talk about and what thumbnails you're going to use. And so that can help save some time instead of doing it in three separate days or three separate weeks, you do it in one time period. I hope you, I hope that helps. I hope you, <laughs> I hope that, <laughs> I hope that helps guys. Don't forget to subscribe so you get the next video that comes out and I'll talk to you soon.